Hi guys, and uh, welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to do this look for you guys. Natural, subtle. <laughs> I've been sick, so I thought, you know, I'd do a makeup tutorial for like if you're getting rid of a cold like I am. And just want something really easy and simple. So yeah, um, keep on watching if you want to see how to get this look. Hey guys. Alright. There we go. Sorry about that. Alright. Um, so, I have my primer already on. And it's the Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Face Primer. And then once I let that sit for a little bit, I use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And blending that out with... Um, I'm using a new sponge. It's the e.l.f. Uh, blending brush. Sponge. <laughs> really good. And um, I exfoliated my lips because they've been a little dry. I've been using the um, e.l.f. lip exfoliator. Um, and this is in um, pink grapefruit, which is actually really good. <laughs> it tastes really good. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> that's everything I have so far. Alright, and now I am going to conceal underneath my eyes to get rid of, you know, look brightened and everything since, you know, I have been sick. As you can hear in my voice too. Alright, so I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Porcelain. So, go underneath. that underneath my eyes and just like that I'm going to go in a little bit more and this is um really like um really good coverage so a little does go a long way and I'm just going to blend that out with my beauty blender. Alright. Just like that. Go all the way in there. Alright. And that does look more bright underneath my eye. Just give them more, and now the other side. And just brighten right here on the chin, any left over, and right here too. Alright, just like that. Just to bring those eras, areas. <laughs> Alright, now I'm just gonna blend out this eye I get the area right there with my sponge, but there we go. Alright, and that is all blended 
in concealed really good all right now I am going to bake underneath my eyes a little bit and also all the areas are concealed I'm gonna put translucent powder and then go over the rest of the face that I didn't um, conceal with pressed powder all right, to bake and set everything else, I am going to use the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect Loose Translucent Powder. Now to bake, I'm going to use my sponge. Get some of that product and just put it underneath my eyes like that. Get a little bit more. Just like that to brind and look like we're less sick than we sound. Well, right there in the chin that we concealed and right there all right all right now going to while we let that bake for a little bit get our big brush and this is, I'm using the Elf Flawless Face Brush. And this is how it looks. And I'm going to use the When Well Press Powder. And just put that all over where we didn't conceal. Underneath the neck. Just like that. Alright, now I am going to get I guess I'll just use this brush. Alright, now we're just gonna wipe away the bake. Just like that. And no under eye dark circles. It looks brightened. Alright. Now I am going to get my contour kit, which is the Wet and Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And this is in the shade Dulce de Leche. And that bronzing palette, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. contouring brush right here. Just one stroke. Alright, just like that. And now we are going to buff that with any brush like this and just move all this away and you are going to go up just 
to set that. Just like that. Alright. Uh, now with all of that out of the way for now. Um we are going to do the eyes and I'm gonna go with the hard candy eyeshadow primer. all of that and for that we're not going to do anything too crazy um just because you know we just want to look a little bit fresh and everything Alright, so now to set everything in place, if I can get this open, okay, there we go. I'm going to go with my Wet n Wild color icon in Brulee. Uh, one of the single shadows this color to set the eyeshadow primer and I'm using a crease brush from Wet n Wild just want to set everything And also, it just makes everything better to blend. You just want to look awake and natural, I guess. <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. palette, Matte for Matte. This is the first one. I wasn't able to get my hands on the second one, but... I will try and use that, um, get it. So these are the colors. Alright, so we are going to go in with this color right here. Get some of that still on that brush. Just wipe it down. And we are going to go in in the outer corner and just slowly blend it into the crease. Just like that. Just work it in. Just like that. Alright, now we are going to go in with a different brush and this is an elf blending brush I think just deepen it up and we're gonna go in with this color actually and just keep it on the outer corner Just 
just like that. I'm gonna go in with this like cool peachy shade on a shadow brush. And just put that all over the lid. Just to brand it. And just like that. Alright, now And now we're just going to put, we're not going to do any under eye shadow or anything. We're going to keep it nice and bright. So, I'm going to go in and put on mascara. And it's the L'Oreal Voluminous. Is very simple. All right, and do the under eye. Just like that, and now we are gonna. All right, actually, I forgot some stuff. Hold on. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna use the Bella Pure Mineral Blush in Autumn Glow. All right, it does have a sifter, so just put some on the cap. And since this is a little bit of a shimmer, if you still want to, like, you know, put a little bit of, um, highlight, you can if you want to glow a little bit more, but this already has a little bit of shimmer for me, so I don't need any of that. Warm up the cheeks a little bit with this. And it's so subtle, so it's actually really pretty on the skin. Okay. Alright, now, last thing is the lips. So I'm going to go with a little bit neutral um, color, so... I went with the e.l.f. lipstick, and this is in the, I don't know what color this is, but I will link it down in the descri description box. It's a really 
pretty pink nude. I think this is the moisturizing lipstick. I'm not sure, but I will link it down. All right. All right. So, without my light, this is the final look. It looks super light, but it actually is a little bit more darker than it is the lip. But that is basically it. And then to finish it off, I'm um, going to set it all together with the Urban K All Nighter Spray. I've been forgetting to show this on camera but yeah so that is the final look really easy really simple makeup to do so um, yeah all the products will be listed down in the description box for you guys and links to the products and everything prices all of my social media um, so yeah, it was really simple and easy to do this look and really settle. So yeah, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!